Welcome to Tech Brothers with Damir. In this video, we are going to understand column alias in select query in SQL Server. Let's go ahead and open SSMS and connect to the SQL Server. I'm going to use the Tech Brothers IT database, and here I have a table called DBO Customer. So I'm going to drop this table first and the recreate. I'm creating this table with ID, F name, and L name columns. So create this table and insert a couple of records. Now. Our table is ready with two records, so I can you can see that we have ID, F name, and L name. Think about a scenario where you need to export these results to an Excel file or a CSV. You want to copy and just maybe copy with headers and then open an Excel and paste it there and send to your users. So right now we have only two columns. As uh, you would not like to send F name and L name, you would like to send them first name. So you have to come back and uh, uh, change the column header for each of the column uh, what you would like. So here we have last name. Okay, so this can be done uh, in a SQL Server as well. Uh, instead of you come back to the Excel or CSV or mm, text editor, wherever you have pasted those results uh, and then uh, change the column header you can always uh, do that uh, in a sql server uh, now think uh, if i would like to get the id here and uh, i want to say as customer id i can simply put as and they say customer id so this will give me customer id and if i want f name as first name so i can use that one first name and then l name as last name so we can use that here now you run your query and you see that these are the same result set uh, but by using the co co column alias uh, we were able to change the header so from id we change to the customer id from f name we change to the first name and from l name we change to the last name uh, if you notice that here i did not put the space uh, between the column names uh, but maybe there could be a requirement uh, where you have to have uh, the space between the column names uh, so first uh, a name uh, you would like to have uh, like this so if you will do something like this and run it uh, uh, let's see what happen so you see that it is given us uh, error when uh, you are going to have columns uh, with the space uh, you always have to put uh, uh, parentheses around them or uh, you can do one thing if uh, uh, you would like you will, can put double quotes around them so this will uh, do the same thing uh, now let's uh, execute and you see that we have customer id no space between the characters here but we have the second column called first name there is a space between first and name the same thing happened with the last column we have last name and you notice that we have to add uh, parentheses when these situations happen or uh, you can put double quotes around your column alias so it's really great uh, where you can alias your columns and especially when you are selecting uh, the data from multiple columns um, tables and uh, if the column names are same in two tables uh, and you want to alias them something different uh, now if you will not put this as it's going to work uh, same so you can remove the as part but i like that when you put the as it makes more sense sometime like oh okay i'm doing alias here so now if you see here select id as as uh, we don't have as keyword here it's still going to convert to the customer id it knows that this is the alias but uh, uh, not having as keyword here that that kind of make it all um, together and uh, hard to read so let's go ahead and uh, execute still you get the same output so it's your choice if you like uh, putting as uh, of uh, um, before the alias that's absolutely okay if you don't like it it's gonna work the same thanks very much for watching this video and i will see you guys in next video